What's going on and welcome to the FanDuel Hurry Up. My name is Tom Vecchio. Wild Card Weekend is here. We have two games on Saturday, three games on Sunday. I'm set to bring you three value plays for your DFS lineups. Let's start off at running back with Ramondre Stevenson for the New England Patriots. He's $5,200. Another weather game up in Buffalo, similar to what we saw during the regular season when they were there. This means we should be focusing in on the Patriots uh, rushing game, not their passing game. Technically, for this game, Damian Harris is listed as questionable. He should be good to go, but if at any point during the game he is not 100% and not able to get out there, we know the Patriots will lean on Stevenson, and that's something they've done throughout the regular season. He has the trust of Bill Belichick, which is obviously very, very important in that rushing offense. He had over 10 carries plenty of times during the regular season. He had over 19 carries in three out of the, pa- out of the final seven games of the regular season for the Patriots. He has the second most red zone rushing attempts for the Patriots, the second most carries overall. So combined with the weather, the potential injury situation, with Damon Harris. Ramondre Stevenson at $5,200 is shaping up to be a great value play at running back. Let's move on to wide receiver with Zay Jones for the Las Vegas Raiders, $5,300. Over the final five games of the regular season, he saw seven targets or more in each of those games. He had a 24.9% target share over those final five games, which was actually higher than Hunter Renfro. Yes, one of the best receivers in the league had a lower target share compared to Zay Jones. Now, we do have to account for the fact that Darren Waller is back for the Raiders, but Zay Jones ultimately has an easy matchup going up against the Bengals. They're right around the league average this regular season, allowing 28.3 fandom points per game to opposing wide receivers. We have a strong 48 and a half over under. So combine his trust with Derek Carr, $5,300, an easy matchup. We should be seeing more scoring in the Bengals and Raiders compared to the Patriots and the Bills. Everything shapes up for Zay Jones to be a solid value play at $5,300. Let's move on to Keyshawn Vaughn at $5,400 on the Sunday 1 p.m. game for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Leonard Fournette is expected to be active or activated from IR for the Buccaneers, but we know that Ronald Jones has been ruled out. Yes, Le'Veon Bell is still there, but he's essentially a non-factor because he basically didn't do anything in the final few games of the season, especially the final game of the regular season when Leonard Fournette was inactive, Ronald Jones was also out, and Bell didn't do anything. So if they're not going to be using him when they're at the most shorthanded, I don't think he's going to be factored, which means Keyshawn Vaughn should be that player to step up. He has seen over 10 total touches in some of the final games. They're 8.5-point favorites. We see the uh, Philadelphia Eagles allowing 22.3 fandom points per game to opposing running backs, which is the 10th worst in the league. So if we do see the Buccaneers up at the end of the game, they're probably not going to be going with Leonard Fournette, the player they just back, brought back from injured reserve. They'll likely go with Keyshawn Vaughn. So at $5,400, certainly liking Vaughn in this matchup. All right, so that does it for this week's FanDuel Hurry Up. I'll be back next week bringing you more value plays for the next round of the NFL playoffs. Mm-hmm.